Hi, my first grade friends. Welcome back to computer class. This week, boys and girls, we have what we like to call a choice week. A choice week means it is your choice to choose from the games that we've been playing over the last five weeks. We've been doing a lot of practicing with your writing skills, learning where certain keys are on the keyboard, learning about text boxes, and how to fill them in with words. So you're going to take a pick from your five games that we've played over the past five weeks and you get to choose your favorites to play today. So let me share my screen and show you how this will work. So the first thing <clears throat> that you will do boys and girls is go into your teacher's Google Classroom. Again on the left side you'll see all topics, you find the computer picture, and there is computer class. Um, this is the post from last week where you got to take a trip. This week it'll say my favorites and that will be your assignment. So when you click on that assignment boys and girls you will see a set of slides that look like this and this is your first slide and this is where you will find your video which is what you're watching right now. On slide number two boys and girls it's your I can slide. And that just tells you what your goal is for computer class this week. I can warm up with some keyboarding and play your favorite games. Think about your favorite ones because it's your choice day. And notice that right here I put three or more. You're going to have five games to choose from. So I want you to pick at least three to play today. And if you have extra time and you want to maybe try all five, you certainly can, but at least three. Slide number three, boys and girls, is just a quick reminder of some of those special keys that we were talking about earlier. So let me um, enlarge this. And boys and girls, in case you don't know this, right here there is a little magnifying glass. And if you press the little triangle next to it, it allows you to zoom and make your picture bigger. So this is at 100%, so I can see that font. The, the letters are called font much easier than when it was only at 50%. So this slide says, remember, use shift keys to make uppercase letters, use your space bar to space, and your ending marks when you complete a sentence. So these were some of the special keys that we were talking about on your keyboard. I would like you to look at your own keyboard right now, boys and girls, and see if you can find not one, but two shift keys. You will see a little arrow pointing up when you find them. One is on the left side over here, and the other is on the right side over here. And remember, when you want to make that uppercase letter with your shift key, you have to press and hold with one finger and then find the letter you need with the other finger and just tap it. So two fingers to do that. Each word needs a space between it, otherwise it looks like a big, long, run-on bunch of letters. So make sure when you're done typing a word that you tap that big long space bar right here. And don't forget your ending marks. Right now we're using the period, which is located right here on the bottom row of letters. If you find the M key and then do two hops with your finger, one, two, you'll land on the period. Okay, and remember boys and girls, if you make a mistake on the keyboard, you have a nice back space button up here. Some, some keyboards might say delete but most of them say backspace and the arrow points this way, and it means to take it away, just like an eraser would. Okay, so today, boys and girls, you're gonna start on slide number four with typing rocket. When you go into typing rocket, remember that it is a three minute round, and I want you to do two rounds today. Start off with a little typing warm up. Let's do two rounds this week. So you get both of those hands ready, and you watch for those letters to fly, and you tap them. If it asks you to log in, boys and girls, or if you want to log in so that you get rid of the ads on the side, remember the login is A, B, C, D, E, F. You can do that all by yourself. And the password is B. You're gonna press start. Remember you're looking for the letters that are gonna start flying up from the bottom. And when you tap them, they'll explode. Fingers are ready. Here's my scoreboard over here on the left. Here's my timer on the right. M is on the bottom row. I'm tapping it 
my right hand. So both my pointies are ready. I is at the top. I'm going to take that right hand and go up to the top row with it. Here comes a J. J is in the middle. The middle row is called the home row, boys and girls. So you are going to go through two rounds of Typing Rocket. When you are finished with Typing Rocket, all you need to do is close it right here, the X, and it will take you back to your slides. So that's slide number four. Starting on slide number five, boys and girls, are the games that we've played over the past five weeks. We started with Treehouse Designer. All you need to do is click on the picture and underneath you will see the link. Remember, a link takes you somewhere. So don't just click the picture because you won't go anywhere. You have to click the picture once and then the link underneath it. Your second choice is make a snowman. And there's that login that we talked about because both your typing game and your make a snowman game come from the website ABC. Yeah. Your third game was make a flake. I just wanna go over this one again, boys and girls, because I think this one of all of the games might've been one of the trickier ones to do. Um, the first thing you do is choose a color for your background. And then you take your mouse and you click anywhere, either along the edge of the triangle or even in the middle of the triangle. And as soon as I click, you'll notice I have a line that's kind of stuck on my mouse. I'm gonna move my mouse to another spot, click again, move it to another spot, click again, just keep clicking, and then eventually bring it back to that green spot, and that's when it cuts. So it's a click, that's your first one, which is green. All the other dots, as I move and click, as you can see, are red. And then when you wanna look at it, you can hit make, and it will show you what you have so far. And then if you wanna cut some more, you certainly can, and then you just kind of, you will notice that as you cut, different chunks start coming out of your snowflake, okay? So that is make a flake. Now look at this, it's still attached, boys and girls. So if, if you're attached to your um, line and you can't get away from it, don't worry, you can still move your mouse around. So if I'm attached, I can still come up here to close out, or I can press undo and it will let go of my mouse. So undo will also kind of release your mouse. All right, so that is make a flake. Your next game choice activity, boys and girls, is the all about me. Again, you click the picture and then the link. This is the one where you filled in lots of fun information and I learned lots of fun things about you and about what you like. And it's always fun to do those. So if you wanna do that again, you certainly can. And the last game from last week was called Take a Trip. This is the one where you have six levels and you can try to beat your time. See if you can drive a little bit faster this time, but be careful, you don't wanna to crash too many times. So take your time when you're driving. And that's it for, today, for this week, boys and girls. You do not need to worry about turning anything in this week because there is no turn in. It's just a choice day for you. So that's all you need to do today is play after you warm up your keyboarding for two rounds pick three or more of your favorites to play. So it's a have fun kind of uh, lesson this week. You don't need to worry about turning anything in. Next week, boys and girls, is vacation week and we're not doing any turn-ins because we don't want you to worry about trying to be on the computer during vacation week. Just have fun, play outside, enjoy your time off, and I will be anxious to hear about what you did for excitement over vacation week. Hopefully it has something to do with being outdoors and playing and nothing to do with computers. All right, I hope everybody has a great week off and I will see you again after vacation week. Bye-bye.